Hopefully, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to sketch some angles and then determine if they lie on the x or on the y-axis. Um, so the first, first angle we have here is pi halves. Now, um, when we have angles that are in radian form, which uh, three out of our four are going to be, um, it's going to be very important to kind of just get you know, the, the angles out of a, a circle. Now, again, if we're going to, we've got to remember that when we're sketching angles that we're starting in our um, standard form of an angle where our initial side is going to be on the x-axis. And when we travel counterclockwise, that's going to be in the positive direction. And counterclockwise will be in the negative direction. Um, remember that halfway around the circle has a distance of pi. And all the way around the circle would be a distance of 2 pi. Now this one says we want to travel as a distance of pi half. That means half a pi. Well, instead of going halfway, all the, halfway around the circle, we're even going to go half of that. So the angle would just be from, from there to there. So therefore, we can see that our angle is the terminal side of our angle is going to lie on the y-axis. And again, I that's supposed to be a plus. Again, I traveled um, counterclockwise because that's the positive direction, and my angle is positive. Here, an example, I have pi. So again, well, this one's a little bit more obvious because we already know that pi is halfway around a circle. Um, and again, this is positive pi, so it doesn't really matter if it's positive or negative. But again, we always want to start at our initial side and go over halfway around the circle because that is our distance in radians of pi. And therefore, you can see that my um, terminal side of my angle, remember you have your initial, initial side and then your terminal side, that is going to end up on the x-axis. Now we have negative 450 degrees. So when we're doing um, degrees, a lot of students kind of like degrees because it's a little bit easier to kind of remember. You know, they know going around a circle is 360 degrees. Half of a circle would be 180. But the other important thing to notice about this is we have a negative angle. So instead of going counterclockwise, like I did for the first two examples, and uh, counterclockwise, now I'm going to go clockwise. Um, however, the measurements is still going to be the same. It's just the direction that's going to be negative. So if I'm going down here, this is going to be a negative 90. This will be negative 180. Over here would be negative 270. And then going all the way around the circle in the clockwise direction would be negative 360. However, you can see that I need to get to negative 450. So I need to go an extra 90 down, which would be negative 450. So my angle, again, is going to start here. It's going to go all the way around and then come back to here. And that would be my angle. And you can see that the angle, where here would be your initial side, and here would be my terminal side, ends again on the y-axis. All right, and lastly, we have negative 3 pi. I'll put that over here. Um, again, this one's going to be negative. Now, in pi, it doesn't matter, really matter if I have an angle of pi that's going positive or negative. It's still half of a circle. But it's important when doing uh, negative pi, just to kind of you know, make sure that we're following along here. Um, again, here is my initial side. So going all the way here would be pi, negative pi. Here would be negative 2 pi. And then here would be negative 3 pi. So you can see that, again, my terminal side is now going to end. My terminal side now ends on the x-axis. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how to determine how to uh, sketch your angle to determine which axis it lies on. Thanks.